Good morning everyone or what's up everyone it's Natalie here and today I am starting my weekend in my life right now I am in Miami and I'm so happy I haven't been here in quite a while and it's so nice and warm out and I'm starting it at the pool this morning but I'm not actually gonna like go to the pool or tan or anything but I did want to get a photo so I'm just getting a picture in this and I am so pale and also I get laser hair removal so I can't really like tan my arms right now so I really like can't be out in the sun because my appointment is next week but anyways I'm just about to take some pictures I've had this bathing suit since middle school and it still fits me which is like I don't know if that's a good or bad thing I'm just gonna take some pictures that I can hopefully post if I'm feeling myself and then I don't know what else we're doing the rest of the day went to that place it's called beauty girl brows i think and if you're in south florida they do a great job they like waxed them but made them look thicker <laughs> i don't even know how you can like take off hair and yet make them look thicker they do a great job because they like measure it out for you they really take their time so highly recommend but right now we're just going back to the apartment we're gonna get ready for the day and then i don't know probably go to the mall or something and get some food hopefully because i'm kind of hungry <laughs> At this really cute cafe called The Alchemist, I got this Mediterranean open-faced sandwich. It looks really good. My mom got avocado toast with salmon. I don't know what my sister got, but this cold brew coffee has coffee ice cubes. So when it melts, it's just coffee, which I think is so cool. It's so cute. Wow, that's nice. Furniture shopping. <laughs> Me and my mom always go to Restoration Hardware when we see one here at the mall and this cloud couch is the most comfortable couch of my life. It's so expensive, but it is like I could literally fall asleep right here and just curl up. It's the greatest couch that's ever been made. We just got back from the mall, and now we're going to see our old house. So if you guys didn't know, I'm from South Florida, and I used to live in Broward County, and specifically Cooper City. So if any of you guys are from there, that would be so weird and so crazy. So comment down below. But we're here right now in Rock Creek, just driving around the neighborhood, and we're gonna go find our old house. And I don't know, just reminisce we lived in two houses here so it's just crazy seeing the difference of like where we where we live now versus like where we used to live and just seeing how things have changed my old neighborhood i used to play at that park over there you can't really see it but right there i used to play all the time my old house i really hope no one's staring at us because i'm like videotaping the house <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Good morning you guys, it is the next day and I never closed off the vlog yesterday but basically what happened was we went back to my old house and my old elementary school and just kind of where I grew up because it's always nice to reminisce um, and we went to the backyard because it was like an open backyard, there was like a public playground, you know like we had a little lake in the back so like anyone could walk there, it wasn't like we weren't walking in people's yards but we walked, walked like along the backyard and they were all outside doing a barbecue like everyone at my old house was doing a barbecue so i was like okay we have to go up to them like we have to just say that like we used to live here and like my parents had actually built that house so we need to say like oh my parents built the house like whatever so we go up there and we tell them and they were just the nicest family and they're also from north carolina which is such a small crazy world but um yeah so we told them that and then they invited us in and <laughs> they literally had like 12 people living in this like tiny-ish house for the weekend because they just came back from a cruise and it was like a family thing so they had like all of their extended family there and we walked in and they changed it so much but it was just so crazy seeing like the house I grew up in 
so many years later um i think we moved in like 2006 i think 2005 or 2006 so yeah it's been like 12 13 years which is or it's been like 13 14 years keep forgetting it's 2019 okay they invited us in and it was just so 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 nice and cool like seeing it and i was i did not want to vlog because i'm like okay that's too much like i'm not videotaping your house especially with like all of your family there but it was really really sweet and then we went to the mall and i'm going to show you guys a little haul later because we are on our way to brunch now so i just got ready for brunch i haven't washed my hair in like three days but i feel like it's fine it doesn't look too greasy we're about to go to brunch and then i don't know what else i'm gonna do i can't go to the beach because i can't tan my arms because i'm getting laser hair removal i should have thought that through before i got laser hair removal like i should have gotten it done in the winter but my appointment is next week so i know you have to wait like two weeks in between so it's just too close and not worth me like getting blisters or whatever like ruining it especially because of how expensive it is like i don't know i don't want to i don't want to risk that so yeah that's what we're doing this is my outfit and we're off to brunch just finished recording the podcast episode with my mom and my dad. My dad's not here, but I recorded them or I did an episode with them about being immigrants, which I think is actually going to be really interesting. You guys will really, really like the episode. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram about what you guys wanted me to talk about with them. So I kind of based it off of your questions, but it was very conversational. So I thought it was really, really interesting. And I can't wait for that episode to go up. I have been super ahead of podcast episodes, which has been great. So I have been just like really on top of them. So I have so many already that I have to edit. So for a few weeks I'm set. And once I'm kind of done with all of my friends, I don't know, like I need to reach out and ask more people. So if you guys have anyone that you guys want me to reach out to, to record an episode, then comment it down below and I will hopefully reach out to them and record an episode because podcasting is such a cool way to get to know people also and to meet people because people are willing, if people are willing to share their story, it's just honestly a great platform. And I don't know, I feel like I've met people through being on their podcast and I, it's been fun like asking people to be on mine so yeah if you guys have any guest wishes then comment them down below i'm gonna do a little haul for you guys just showing you guys what i bought i didn't really buy that much this is like a, a haul of like three items but i still want to show you guys abercrombie and fitch i swear is making a comeback i don't know i feel like people my age like 23 22 24 like around my age we're just scarred from abercrombie because in middle school everyone wore abercrombie all the time and it was just like the thing to wear so now we kind of don't want to wear it anymore but it actually has really cute things every time i wear something from there people always are like oh where's it from so don't sleep on abercrombie <laughs> they're cute again but i got these pants these are like mom jeans i guess and they're so 90s like but i really really like them and they're high-waisted and i wear jeans like every single day so i'm super excited to wear them i also am not a fan of skinny jeans as much anymore but i used to buy skinny jeans all the time so i kind of just want to start buying more like girlfriend jeans and then they were doing buy one get one half off of jeans so i got these white pair of jeans and they're also like high-waisted kind of mom-like jeans i think they're so cute though i really really like them uh and yeah they're like not skinny at all they're very like straight leg and then this shirt i never thought i would be buying but it is just this t-shirt that says abercrombie and fitch on it but i don't know it reminds me of like those shirts that they sell on Ur at urban that say like guess or you know stores like that that are coming back with their logo like champion and stuff like that which i mean champion used to be sold at walmart and like it wasn't cool and guess i feel like was never like that like cool or anything but now that urban sells it it's cool again i don't know so i like really really like this shirt i like the color it's super soft and it's more like a boxy fit i got a size medium i think i don't know this is small but whatever i just really really like it and i think it's really cute that it does say abercrombie just very subtly um and then i also got some beef jerky <laughs> it's the best beef jerky ever if you guys are looking for a snack Get that they sell it at starbucks i think that is it i actually got a little coin purse from louis vuitton uh is that out over here all right it's not here but i got the little coin purse coin wallet to, um, to keep my cards because i have such a big wallet and i kind of just wanted a smaller one to put on my keys so i wouldn't have to take my big wallet with me everywhere and i would always have it on me so yeah that's what i got hope you guys enjoy this little mini haul and now it's time to pack because i have to wake up at 4 a.m to catch my flight and then go to work <laughs> Hey everyone, it is the next day and I just got back. It is 8 or 
it's actually 9 o'clock. I had a 6 a.m. flight. I got about four hours of sleep. I don't know how I'm so like energized right now because 20 minutes ago I like couldn't even open my eyes. I am feeling a lot more energetic. It will for sure hit me tomorrow and I am going to work. So I literally was in Miami this morning and now I'm going to work in Charlotte. That's just wild to me. Anyways, before I begin speaking delusionally, I am going to close off this vlog and I hope that you guys liked my weekend in my life. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, follow me on all of my social media stuff, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.